A lot of Django and Gypsy jazz tunes are in a minor key. Minor swing, douce ambiance, dark eyes, minor blues. So very often you will have the situation of a dominant seventh chord that wants to resolve to a minor chord, whether to the first degree, the tonic of the piece, or to the fourth degree. Here I'll play you a simple, very obvious line from A dominant seventh to D minor. Needless to say that you can use the line everywhere you want. Just move it to the key you're in. Lick number 23. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> The notes come from the D harmonic minor scale. In the D harmonic minor scale, you will find the A dominant seventh chord, the fifth degree, as well as the D minor chord itself, of course, the first degree, the obvious ending chord of a piece in D minor. In this lick, is one important exception, the very last note in this line, and that is the note B. And the B is the major sixth of D minor. And in gypsy jazz guitar, that is an often used addition to a minor chord. But that major sixth doesn't belong to the harmonic minor scale, which had a flatted, fit, a flatted sixth. And that is probably the reason that this lick sounds nice, even a bit weird. Here, the note B. The advantage of this particular line is that it starts with one and a half beat rest and ends with more than a whole bar rest. So enough time to count it in and find and feel where to start the line in case you want to use it in a piece. I count one, two, three, four. You can also see that I stay in one region, region on the fretboard. And this makes it quite easy to transpose to any other region without being bothered by notes that are too high or too low. So this lick is, play, is playable in all keys. Why not in E7 that wants to go to e minor, uh, A minor? Or F sharp 7 that wants to go to B minor. Try it yourself and try to apply it in one of the tunes mentioned in the opening. Good luck. <laughs> 